That is why we are seeing a broken, crumbling religious system. They don't even know what they believe. They have a thousand different doctrines, are in perpetual confusion. They don't understand. They differ among themselves. Bless it. Why? Because they have their eyes fixed on Jesus of Nazareth. You can't look to him, even if you want to. I understand that we love him for what he did for us on the cross. But to honor him, what he wants is to direct us to that second manifestation after he is resurrected. It's like a satellite shuttle, the kind they send to the moon. That starts, but then the shuttle performs its function and falls into the sea. Then the satellite goes on and reaches the moon. That is what is important. The shuttle is also important, but it has to disappear for the other one to come up and fulfill its purpose. And Jesus of Nazareth did his work. He died, destroyed the devil, took away sin. He saved you, set you free, opened a new path for you. Not the old path, but a new way for you to walk on. Because blessed, if you do not understand these words, believe me that you have a veil, you are grumbled, you are suffering. You are from a community that is deceived by a false religion, by the veil of the nations. That's why you ignore everything. Uh, the book of Romans states that the spirit God has placed within us cries out, Abba, Father. But you keep saying hallelujah because you ignore. You don't know what happened to you. You do not know. You don't know what is going to happen to you because you have not experienced the glory of the risen one. Romans 8, 10. Says, But if Christ is in you, not next to you, in you, the body, your body is dead because of sin. This sinful body is dead because of sin, yet your spirit is alive because of righteousness. Now hear this, but if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, When you marry the risen one, he will dwell in you. As long as you remain with Jesus in Nazareth, there is no guarantee of transformation for you. But if that spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, says, He who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. He will also give life to your mortal body. This body is in corruption. There are some very nice promises, but until the transformation takes place. So we live in the written truth and in the lie of feeling in the daily thoughts that the flesh brings us. But you are grounded as a firm anchor of the soul you are anchored in what is written in the foundation that the Apostle Paul left us. And lastly, in Romans 6, 14, it says, For sin shall not have dominion over you, for you are not under law, but under grace. 